Alright guys, welcome back. This is episode 2 of the all-new Capital Series, Green Valley on the Fusion Media Network. And let me just start out by saying, obviously, what a phenomenal view from the new park created by the master builder himself right here, good old Dale. He is on candid camera. I don't think he knows I'm recording right now. But this was just built today. Let me just tell you what a difference a day makes because... I just posted the video yesterday of the new series and the amount of support I've gotten from everyone is just absolutely fantastic and you guys are just awesome. I really appreciate that and everyone has really come together to help get this capital underway and we're making great progress. I mean, Everyone's been working diligently and I couldn't be happier at this point. This is what I log on to Green Valley for. This is Minecraft to me. It's what it's all about. Of course, you got nice little waterways here, very serene. Sandbox, swing set, jungle gym. Little slide, which looks like it would really, really hurt going down, but. Alas, Minecraft has no smooth or spherical textures. Uh, another thing that we did, let's go over here. Forgive the pop-up. It's pretty bad when I'm actually recording. Uh, we moved the social tower from outside the uh, boundaries of the capital to inside just because it was such a good build. Beautiful sunset. It was such a good build that I really thought it deserved to be in the capital. It really needs its own plot. It's uh, very well done. Grand Star Yoshi, I applaud you on that. But what I really wanted to focus this episode on is this building right here because I just can't stress enough to you how awesome, how detailed, and how intricate this build is. So I'm just going to take you on a quick tour inside and my hat's off to, to Sherlock. I mean, Sherlock and Whitefire have been working on this for so long because, you know, they really did revert to the old way of uh, Minecrafting. Not so much as actually crafting your own blocks, but actually doing this without world edit. I mean, that speaks volumes. Okay. Look at this floor. Let me pop off the chat. Just so you can take it all in. Eye candy. I mean, if this doesn't scream five stars, <laughs> I don't know what does. Okay, so you come in, you have the reception desk, of course. And you go over in the corners. You have this charming little cafe here. And look at the detail. I mean, look at the chairs, look at the stools, the tables. I just love that. It's little details like that that really, really make you stand out amongst builders. Okay. And by the way, look at the amount of people on tonight. This is fantastic and everyone's cooperating, what more can you ask for? That little cafe area right here. What I do like about this is the uh, the floor plan. It's very wide open. It just it gives you that sense of scale. And it really shows you, you know, hey, this is the capital. This is the world capital. This is the real deal. Running on up the stairs. Now bear in mind, this is nowhere near finished. So this is kind of like a preliminary run. And we get to this floor here, which is kind of like its own little arboretum. Each floor almost has its own theme to it, which is amazing. And this is where we get to your individual rooms. I mean, look at that. They each get their own balconies. With a stunning view, there's the park right there. This pop-up is horrendous. There we go. Okay, the next floor you have a desert-esque theme. Got some cacti in here. Very nice. Okay, which 
brings us to um, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that this is the water themed level. Yep. And yes, they are Ryan Durham, and they are orgasmic. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Okay, this is the next floor up. I'm gonna guess this is fire. Brings us to what well, looks like uh, a Triforce, I'm guessing. And then we have the final floor, which is a Yoshi themed, uh, <laughs> rightfully so, Yoshi themed room or uh, level. And that's pretty much it. That's the top. And as you can see, it is unfinished. But when it is finished, I can't wait to see it. Oh, oh boy. Sorry it's so jumpy today. The server is really... <laughs> I know it sounds funny, it's not overloaded, but um, there's an awful lot of people on at once. Plus, uh, recording at the same time really doesn't help. So there it is in a nutshell, the Capitol Hotel. If you haven't seen it, guys, you've seen it here, check it out in person. And if you haven't seen it, I honestly don't know where you've been. But uh, yeah, thanks to everyone who's really just been uh, really spearheading all these new builds here. Uh, of course, we've got Alex that's going to be working on a build behind the bank. All right. Defy gravity there. Teleport. And actually, I do want to point out one thing that was addressed today, and actually it was Sean's idea, and it's the weirdest thing. A few members, such as myself, and uh, Sean on occasion, have been experiencing real problems with freezing up uh, when you go to the bank and uh, around Sylph Company. So uh, Sean came up with the idea, why don't we just cut and paste it and see if that works. You know, cut the building and just repaste it in the same spot. Because we thought it might have had something to do with the old bricks being laid down from many, many versions ago. So we gave that a shot, and, you know, I don't know how, but it has worked for everybody. I mean, this game has some of the most bizarre bugs I have ever seen or heard. So, I mean, that really, that's fantastic. That makes me happy because now uh, I can game on without having to restart every five minutes into the game. I did add in a lot more street lamps as well, as you can see. Really starting to come together. I'm very proud of everybody. This is, uh, I'm not sure about anyone else, but this is what I envisioned when we launched Green Valley. And it's nice to see people bringing that to fruition. And of course, I worked a little bit on the Fusion Media Headquarter building today. Not too much, but it's coming along nicely. It'll be a slow build. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, all this has happened in one day. What a difference a day makes. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap that up here, guys, for episode two. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And um, everyone on the server, you know who you are. I'll bring up the screen there. Sean, Dale, GamerFan, Ryan, Planner, all you guys. You've been doing awesome. Keep it up. And... Uh, Stay tuned to the videos. I plan on making many, many more as the city grows. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.